Hello beautiful geeks, how is everybody doing today? This is Lewis coming to you once again through the power of YouTube and the Geek Fortress to bring you another reaction video. San Diego Comic Con is happening as we're speaking, so they release a new trailer for Justice League. Haven't watched it yet, been saving myself. In any case, I'm so freaking excited and nervous that I can't even speak. And also I just woken up by firefighters because apparently there was like a gas leak somewhere in here. So I'm up! With that said, without any further ado, let's get right to it. Off to a good start, J.K. Simmons. Justice League exclusive trailer. Yeah, he dead. Who's that, Agent 47? I know who that is. My baby. It's like, bitch, you know you didn't. What did you do this weekend, Diana? Me? Huh. Nothing very Kick interesting. Kick some ass. <laughs> the world Nothing very interesting. Morning after the death of the Superman. And where is the Gotham Bat? The mass vigilante has been a no-show. He said the age of heroes would never come again. It has to. It has to. Netflix. We don't have any more time. Something is coming. Cryptic as fuck. Ooh, back to Themyscira. I like it. Oh. No protectors here. Oh. I like how the underwater look. That was that no sneak peek they gave us a while back. No Kryptonian. Ezra Miller is a flash. It's I guess I'm starting to like him. Like all the others. One misses the days when one's biggest concerns were exploding wind-up penguins. This is crazy. Reference to the I'll penguin is you guys. Each of us in some way is held back. That circle seemed very Avengers like. We do this together. It's really cool. You guys seem ready to do battle and stuff, but I've never done battle. I just push some people and run away. <laughs> I mean, he does more than that, but I guess they're trying to make that funny aspect. Relax, Alfred. I'll take it from here. Uh, d do I know you? <laughs> Cyborg taking control Superman over was an electronics of the world. He didn't just save people. He made them see the best parts of themselves. All right. I don't recognize this world. We don't have to recognize him. Oh, there's a pair of demons. Wow, it looks like all of Themyscira is going to help out. Looks like Aquaman is a surfer, dude. How many of you are there? Not enough. Do you really think that... Oh wow, they just, they really just vanish. Huh? Oh. That's rude. <laughs> oh man. Jurassic Park. Dong. If a T Rex shows up, I'm done. You said you'd come. Now let's. Who is it? You're not too late. Oh shit. All right, so there's a lot to talk about, so let's get to it. Okay, so where do we start? Uh, first of all, we get a first official-ish look at Steppenwolf. 
which I liked a lot. For those of you who are not familiar with the character, he's a new god created by Jack Kirby, the man himself. So I enjoy that a lot. He appears in Themyscira, some sort of portal. I'm sure we're going to get explained as to how that happened. We see that and I enjoy that a lot. It was really nice. We don't see a face yet. We just see a little CGI going on, but I enjoyed it. Steppenwolf is related to Darkseid. So maybe he'll just be a minor villain that opens up and then Darkseid will take over. I don't know yet. Do not take my word for it. I might just be making that up. It might just be the fanboy in me thinking that. Because if I'm not mistaken, he um, he is Darkseid's uncle, I believe. Um, yes, I think he's his uncle. But anyways, uh, so it might be a back door in order to introduce Darkseid because we do see parademons. We saw Parademons and in Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice we saw the Omega symbol for uh, Darkseid. So that might be what they're setting up guys. That would be awesome. I don't know if it's going to be in this movie, but hey. Uh, now, that brings me to my next point. Uh, at the end of this trailer we see that Commissioner Gordon is talking to somebody. They're like, oh, they said you would come. I just hope it... I'm uh, not Commissioner Gordon, excuse me, Alfred. And he said, uh, I hope you're not too late. Now, one of two things. I'm thinking to myself, either Superman who's returning or we're gonna get a GL cameo Green Lantern I don't know it could be guys it could be you never know you never know again the fanboy in me hopes we've seen Superman and as much as I love Superman I would love to see a Green Lantern enter this universe but we don't know just yet which one it's going to be cross your fingers for GL but if it's Superman hey he's back he's gonna help out he's gonna be the deuce ex machina of this movie which I think what's it's what's going to happen now, next point, rumors of a Flashpoint movie, almost confirm, I believe, uh, by the time of this video, I don't know, uh, it would give us uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, hopefully, as Thomas Wayne, and um, Laura Cohen as Martha Wayne, we might see that happen, how awesome is that, what do you guys think about that, we'll make, I will get into detail in that in another video, once we know more about it, but keep a pin on that one, because that's going to be awesome. My next point being the fact that Bruce Wayne, um, the Batman, meaning Ben Affleck, it's been a heavy rumor that he is going to leave um, the DC Universe, which it pisses me off for more than one reason. First of all, the, the man seems like he was happy at first with the whole Batman thing. But they, they started asking him too many questions. He started to say, listen, I'm not just Batman. I'm not just this, blah, 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 blah. And, and the reason why it upsets me is because I was one of those people who didn't think he was going to be a good Batman. All right, I admit it. And then he gave a good performance. He did what he did. And I was like, okay, he's our new Batman. And now after he gains that trust and he proves all those geeks out there like me, who didn't think he was going to be a good Batman, he's going to throw in the towel first he stepped out of directing the Batman and now he's just like F you all you know I might not be Batman at all still a rumor nothing has been confirmed yet I believe Warner Brothers already had their um San Diego comic-con uh, expo not expo um panel and uh, nothing really was set in stone in fact uh Jeff Jones keeps speaking saying that everything is peachy peachy peaches and cream but we don't know yet now, with that said also, guys, let's keep in mind that in this trailer, we I, I don't see that dark tone that Zack Snyder has been giving us. I mean, it looks a little dark, but not as dark. I still see uh, Themyscira. It looks bright. Um, and Wonder Woman looked blue and red. It wasn't like that um, rusty color, so I enjoy that. So, keep in mind that this movie is going through several reshoots as we are speaking. So, um, they had some reshoots done. They're trying to make it better. Because Justice League, I feel, is going to be the movie that, don't get me wrong, Wonder Woman was amazing, and it gave a little bit of CPR to the DC Universe, but if Justice League fails, guys, that's going to be the end of the DC movie universe, unfortunately. Um, I expect everything else to probably get cancelled, because Justice League is where they're putting all their eggs in that basket. So, hopefully I'm wrong, and even if that fails, which I'm hoping it doesn't fail, don't get me wrong. I don't want Justice League to fail. That's been a dream of mine to watch a Justice League movie ever since I was a little kid. Um, ever since I watched the Justice League cartoons and even before that when I picked up my first comic book. So hopefully it is going to happen. 
And with all of that said, guys, I am really looking forward to this movie. What do you guys think about this movie? Do you think it's going to be good? Do you think it's going to be bad? Now that we saw this trailer, you know the fact that Aquaman look it's some sort of surfer dude for some reason, that everything is cool, awesome, bitching. I don't know, that's the vibe that he's getting, that he's giving me. So hopefully, hopefully I'm wrong. But, uh, I mean, they are making justice to the character in a way because he's strong, he looks strong. But uh, in the trailer, there's a part when he's like, I, I think we're all going to die. I don't feel like Aquaman would say that. I don't know yet. Maybe he's just joking. Uh, maybe him and the Flash are the comic relief. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, they put down a little Barry Allen by saying that he just runs and pushes people. But hey, I guess that's the whole point of making um, fun of the character in a way. But DC, do your thing. I like comedy in my superhero movies, but I don't like they're overdone. I love the Marvel Universe, and I do know that their movies are famous for making people laugh. But at the same time, they throw comedy sometimes in serious moments that should not have comedy. But that's for another video altogether. With that said, guys, you guys have been awesome. Do not forget to stay awesome and geek on. And I'll see you as soon as that Infinity trailer, um, Infinity Wars trailer drops out. Because I've seen some, like, rocky footage that people have found online, you know, on the dark side of the internet. Not really, but you know. And it's looking good. But once we get a real trailer, I'll see you guys again. Well, until next time, guys, this has been Jaboy Lewis. Stay awesome and geek on.